I'm Wayne O'Brien, a nice guy who wants to make a difference in your life. I wanted to help people, and I felt like this was probably the best area of the law where I could best help people because of the way the legal system is set up. They have to deal with not only their injury, but, but with adjusters and um, repairing vehicles, all the types of things that go on when you're involved in an accident. So I felt this was a good way to help people. I was raised in Richmond. I moved here when I was 10 years old and went to high school here. And I was uncertain as to what I wanted to do with my future. And so I didn't feel like I wanted to do a lot of the types of jobs that my classmates were getting. And so I started searching around for something that would fit my personality more. And, and I finally decided to go to law school. It was a good decision for me. I went to uh, BCU and, and uh, William and & Mary, and uh, so I got there and enjoyed the challenges and made a lot of friends there and, and became president of the student body when I was a third year student, and that was good for me. And so I've always loved Richmond. I've, I've actually practiced law in, in different areas of the state. I prefer Richmond of all of them. It's home, and I'm just glad to be here. I was a member of the General Assembly in Virginia for uh, four years. I was elected in a multi-member district, including counties all the way from just outside Washington, D.C., all the way down toward Williamsburg. It was a huge district. It was about 100 miles from one end to the other. And uh, we had two members from that district, and I was elected as one of the members and became a member and represented the area for four years. It was a good experience. Uh, I really enjoyed the campaigning as much as anything else, getting out and meeting people. I met thousands and thousands of people uh, during that campaign, and it was really um, taught me a lot about human nature and about people and their needs. And then, of course, once I got into the assembly, I was on the Courts of Justice Committee, which is an important committee as far as the laws of the state involving automobiles and crime and all the other things uh, that people think of when they think of, of the law. And uh, I've served on that committee for four years and, and learned how laws are made and it's learned that it's not always a pretty process and learned really what's, what's possible and what's not possible when it comes to legislating. I think it gives me a perspective on, on the law that not every lawyer has because most lawyers have never been a member of a legislative body so they know what the law is but they don't necessarily know how the law is made and how laws uh, are the result of a great deal of give and take and what's possible and what's not possible legislatively. We started a personal injury law firm in 1982 uh, it's called Chandler Franklin and O'Brien and we had offices in uh, Charlottesville, Richmond, um, Hampton, and Norfolk, and it was a large law firm. had a lot of a lot of uh, lawyers, a lot of employees, and we were probably the largest personal injury law firm in Virginia at that time, from the standpoint of number of uh, offices, number of lawyers. I retired in in, two, in the year 2000, and I was retired for about four or five months, and decided pretty quickly that I really wasn't suited for retirement, which is really a, a good thing to realize. I mean, if, if you can learn that, whether or not you're, you're amenable to a retirement or not, it's an important thing to, to know. And I've, I've decided that what I'm gonna do, what I intend to do, you know, you never know what's gonna happen, but we used to have an old lawyer down in Hampton who lived to be 103 years old, and he died at his desk, and I said, I wanna be like that guy practice as long as I'm healthy and able to practice because I enjoy the practice of law, I enjoy working with people, helping people.